Fuck you, bitch! Fuck you! You're gonna die. Get him! Fuck you! You piece of shit! Let's go! You fucking whack piece of shit! Let's go! You f I'm gonna teabag you! I wanna teabag him! I don't care. He's fucking dead. Float away, you fucking raisin look. What's going on, YouTube? Snipes here with TKO. <laughs> snipes, Snipes, Snipes finally has defeated this piece of shit Oryx. That reaction in the beginning of the video is something I want every single one of you guys to feel. It was the greatest thing I've ever felt while playing Destiny. Thank you guys so much for all the support you guys do I, I really honestly with the live stream and the YouTube I really appreciate it I'm gonna try my best to explain to you guys the mechanics of this damn bullshit ass raid which is an amazing raid I fucking love it I know it better than my fucking backhand right now sorry for the cuss words I'm very tired but I'm very glad that I can deliver this to you anyways let's get into it wherever Oryx starts in the beginning okay First, let me t talk about the light. You want to make sure your light level is very high, as high as possible. Make sure your primary is very strong. Scout rifles are great. The red death is also a good option. Secondary should be a very strong sniper rifle or fusion rifle. Wherever Crota slams his fist is the starting point. That light is there. Whoever picks the light, they're going to be the taken dude that needs to jump on those platforms where the lights are. And then they're going to finally go and get on the last platform to get the final light. I'm in the video and I will always be on the last platform. I recommend assigning people their platforms for this fight. Okay. Remember, wherever Oryx slams his fist, it's always going to be counterclockwise. Once you get on these platforms, there's going to be these ogres that pop out. It's, they pop out right when you jump on your platform. Kill them as soon as possible. Be careful on your platform because there will be a ship behind you that will be shooting you. Make sure that once that is done, we recommend having a couple sword dudes that go in. Because once whoever grabs the light, the final light, they have to slam that uh, that knight that comes. And everyone has to kill him. Once that knight dies, you everyone DPSs Oryx and shoots him. What You have to put enough DPS into him to make him flinch. Once he flinches, remember those ogres that you killed? They all drop a blood some a black blood let's call it a black blood circle you want to run back into that black blood circle black blood circle i can't speak and you want to jump into it you want all four guardians who killed their ogres to jump in it at the same time and to detonate the blood then you all run back to the middle and you start shooting crota like or not crota wow He's a piece of shit son. Oryx. You shoot him like we did and you put so much DPS into him. Weapons of Light Bubble helps a lot. Now you're on this part where we've been running around that you've seen. It's called the Death Race, okay? You, what you do is you um, expand these uh, death uh, bubbles that come out like spears. They're like... They're like waves coming out of you individually. You want to be really far away from your teammates and you want to run around in a circle. It can be a small circle. It can be a big circle or I would say a medium sized circle. If you have two people very close to each other, make sure you guys are running the same circle route right next to each other. Okay. I'm having a little fun dancing here because of the fact that I know that this was the run where I was going to destroy this piece of shit and I can't wait for all of you to do so. Now, remember, I'm in this video and I'm always going to be in charge of platform number four. That means that wherever uh, Oryx goes and his fist slams down, that's always going to be platform number one. And it's always going to go counterclockwise from there. You jump on the platform, then the two platforms above you where the light runner is going to go, they come up and spawn orbs. You have to go on the platforms in order and give about two to three seconds of time okay for each light to light up you can't do uh, all platforms at the same time it has to be in order and you have to give it a little bit of time everyone goes in the middle you kill him i'm making some orbs for our titan because all we have is one titan bubble i do recommend that titan bubble by the way we go we dps him he flinches everyone goes back to their black uh, blood orbs they count down three two one everyone goes in at the same time and now it shows up on the bottom left of your screen that all four have been detonated. Then you run back, dip into the wet, uh, 
weapons of light and you just go to town on this guy. I'm missing a few shots or a few shots are immune. It's a little hard to see sometimes. And, and this was only like our third attempt uh, once we started. So um, you want to make sure I wasn't really warmed up here. But anyways, you want to make sure that you're hitting those. Ne once again, it's going to be the death race, right? No, it's not because it is health based. Usually if you don't put enough damage, it's going to be two death races and then it goes. But we figured it out that it is actually health based. We have his health in two waves to less than half. I believe at about 50% health is when he spawns that black orb looking thing. And what that is, is that your teammates will in twos or one, but I know the first is going to be two people get teleported into that bubble. Once you're into that bubble, Imagine this, just like the sunless cell strike with the dark blade, a la cool. You're just like this with a big witch that has a sword. You can't really see much, but you see her pop up and you want to make sure that everyone knows you tether her, which will be great. She keeps teleporting. You want to make sure you kill her fast. There is a timer in this room, guys. You want to kill her fast. I don't know what the timer is, but like I said, Kill her fast. Everyone will be getting teleported in twos or ones. Everyone will make it in there, but you want to kill him. Don't worry. If you die, you can revive your teammate. But dying doesn't mean to wipe in this, guys. As much as you guys may think so, do not give up if someone dies. Like Analyze the situation and go from there. Then I'm over here. Remember, I'm always on platform number four. Oryx is over there. That's platform number one. He jumps on the light. Then he's going to be jumping the platforms. Platform two is up. Now platform three just got up. And now I'm going for platform four. I'm helping out with that ogre. That ogre dies. I didn't even really need to help much because my teammates are doing a phenomenal job. Big shout out to them. Then my ogre is about to pop up. Boom. I put the ogre. I put the grenade there. Um, you want to just get, you know, um, what's it called? Critical shots on these guys and kill them as fast as possible. He dies. I pick up that special. That's the only reason I went there. Look at that light guy slamming the knight. Everyone is just going to town on the knight. The knight dies. Everyone dips into the weapons of light bubble, gets ready. Oryx is doing his little ritual thing. He's about to open his chest up. Be very careful here, guys. You want to make sure you hit the center of his chest. Don't hit his hand. Don't hit his uh, the bones on his chest. You count down three, two, one. Everyone goes into the black blood. And then you see on the bottom left that uh, the people's bloods are being detonated. You get back into the circle. You need to get back into the circle fast wherever um, your light holder carrier is. Look at his health, guys. It's looking freaking phenomenal. And this is only our third wave, I believe. And now we are doing work. Now, once again, he's going to come up and he's going to spawn that bubble. That bubble gets spawned. That means we're going to start getting teleported in. Once we get teleported in, it's the same thing. Just like the Dark Blade strike, the Sunless Cell strike, you're going to have to kill her fast. I recommend Night Stalker Hunters to tether that biatch and destroy her, okay? Remember that. Remember how your perks work, guys. Utilize every possible thing that works on your armor perks, your weapon perks, your, your weapon damage, everything, all right? See those guys? Those Fallen actually go into that room and start meleeing. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to kill those fallen before they go in and so that way you know they don't actually go in and damage the people inside because you, you, when you're inside that bubble you want to be um worrying about dpsing the witch so boom i get teleported i'm ready i have my tether i'm gonna get ready to tether her uh right now she's looking pretty good uh, and she's tethered, so I don't. All right, I do it anyways, just to be safe, because I know that this is the one we're gonna kill, Oryx. And I was getting a little too excited here. So, anyways, uh, boom! It's the last wave, guys. It's rinse and repeat. Remember, once you make it past that, it's the same thing. He goes back to the OG, the original is what we like to call it. I'm over here on the last platform. I'm dancing because I'm pumped, guys. I have faith in my team. I have faith in my guardians. Staying positive, staying motivated, having all those things are so important. I'm fourth. Everyone calls out platform one, two, three, and now four. It's all good to go. The light runner is going, going, going. I'm going to get ready to help out with that ogre. Boom, that ogre is about to get melted. There's going to be a black blood over there. My ogre hasn't come out yet. Boom, there he is. Going to just snipe him, snipe him, snipe him. I'm going to trust my teammate to take that out. I'm getting ready to go in the middle. The weapons of light bubble is there. He's coming closer. The knight's coming closer. Boom, he gets slammed. I go to town with my sword. My teammates are doing great. 
he dies we're gonna go right back in the middle dip into weapons of light orcs is about to open his chest here boom everyone's gonna dps him now he gets t uh staggered again you he flinches pretty much and you go back to where your black blood was countdown three two one boom everybody's in there all four detonated and you go right back it's very important to make sure all four bloods get detonated guys they have to get detonated keep that in mind go to town here guys this is it he's a dramatic ass king he's like faking his death and shit i'm talking to my teammates he's about to come up right now be ready this you have to kill him here guys he is a dramatic person kill his ass this is the most like talk shit to him before he opens his chest that is the most exciting part of this raid i'm so pumped to be able to share that with you guys i know I was speaking really fast. I just, I'm sorry guys, I'm in this mentality where I know the, I know the mechanics of this raid so well that I, I just rewind, you know, pause the video, explain to your teammates, have your team come and watch this video. It will help a ton, guys. We will be helping uh, viewers out with the raid as much as we can. Come tune to, into our live stream, uh, twitch.tv slash realtkogaming. The link is in the description below. That's the loot I got. I got a couple great weapons. Um, and I got the emblem. I will. I have tutorials on everything about this raid. If we could get this video to about two likes, I will freaking post all of them, giving you guys the best explanations of all the mechanics. Thank you guys so much for the support. Please hit that thumbs up and please subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace, baby. You sexy bastard. <laughs> I got a pulse rifle. This thing is a pulse rifle.